So I'm currently in Japan, but I've got another video for you. This one is from Stephen Ludgate. He's done a little guest video and he's remixing my binary coded decimal crap clock, the BCD crap clock, which I'm sure he'll get right. Uh, anyway, he's coming up just now. So take a look and there'll be some links in the description if you want to, to subscribe. Well, I'm sure Stephen will speak properly. Hello and thank you to David for the intro. Yes, if you don't know me, my name is Stephen Ludgate or Chunky Steve on most of the social media. And I am a maker slash geek here on YouTube. Now I'm here on David's channel trying to persuade you to come over to my channel. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. I struggle to get videos out on time on my channel. So why am I here on someone else's channel trying to steal their viewers? Well, I'm here to introduce a project that I'm working on, and it is based on one of David's more popular projects, which is bi his binary decimal, which is his binary coded decimal crap clock. Before we go any further, I was supposed to have my crap clock with me to show you, but I've left it at work because I was testing the drift on the crystal. So I'm going to splice in some B-roll footage, and hopefully you won't notice it's in a different location. Uh, something similar to this. All right, so the project title is going to be called the David Watts Binary Coded Decimal Crap Clock Chrono The David The David Watts Binary Decimal Coded Clock The David Watts Binary Decimal Coded Crap Clock The David Watts Binary Coded Decimal Crap Clock Chrono Backpack Daughter The David Watts Binary Coded Decimal Crap Clock Chrono Backpack Daughter Add-on Board mm. Or the DWBCDCCCBDAB for short And the title gives you a little hint as to what it's for But first if you're new to the Binary Coded Decimal Clock or the BCD for short Check out David's videos of his project which go all the way back to May 2017 where he first introduced the idea of producing a kit. Or if you head over to my channel and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell to get notified of the new videos, you'll find out a little bit more about the clock on the first video of this project. To refresh your minds though, the BCD crap clock only keeps time by advancing through the CMOS counters at a steady pace of 1 hertz. This 1 Hz signal is generated by the 32 kHz crystal that's on board and the CD4060D CMOS counter chip. If you want to set the time, you have to advance through the seconds from zero, i.e. midnight, 0000, up to your chosen time using the shortcut buttons that allow you to advance faster than the 1 Hz clock. Now the quickest way to set the time is if you do it just after midnight, but if you set the clock late at night, like 11 p.m., even using the shortcut button 256 hertz, it's going to take you a long time to cycle all the way through the thousands and thousands of seconds that makes up a day, which is 86,400 seconds to be precise. Now this is where I come in and my daughter board will be attached to the back of the crap clock with the same footprint with the goal to either allow you to unplug it or allow the clock to lose power. And when you plug it back in, the onboard microcontroller will reprogram the BCD crap clock to the correct time using its clock signal. It'll do this using a real-time clock or RTC that'll keep its own time or using a Wi-Fi enabled chip that will go off and get the local internet time. The onboard microcontroller will then do the basic maths to work out the current time of day in seconds and advance the clock signal forward that many pulses for the BCD crap clock to catch up to the correct time. Simple, right? Well, that's the idea. Now, the way I see it, I have two routes to go down and I might pursue both routes depending on how well each one turns out. Option one is I use an RTC chip like the DS3231, as you can see example on this module and set the BCD crap clock each time it's plugged in. Or as David has hinted in his documentation, the clock can actually run on around six microamps when the LEDs are not enabled. So perhaps we keep the crap clock running on the square wave output that you get on one of these modules and just disable the LEDs. And once you plug it back in, the clock is showing the right time automatically. But I'm not too sure about that one. 
Now I do like the idea of it setting the time each time you plug it in and the accompanying animation of the LEDs each time it sets the time. But I also like the convenience of just plugging it in and it just having the right time as soon as it's switched on. I'll probably have to find a method of setting the RTC as well just in case it starts to drift. And I'm not too sure how well the BCD crap clock or the RTC will favour over time and how much it will drift. As that is a worry because the clock is only using an external crystal oscillator. Second option is to use a Wi-Fi enabled chip like the ever useful ESP8266. This one here is an ESP12E I believe. Looking at the antenna and using its own microcontroller to manage the BCD crap clock but also using its Wi-Fi signal to go off and get an accurate internet time. This would provide the clock with the daily accurate time and it could even be set to zero every time it hits midnight so the clock will not drift during the day and any drift will be negligible because it'll get reset at midnight. Expanding on the ESP8266 solution would enable having some kind of web backend management where you could set the time, you could set daylight saving dates, perhaps have some uh, quiet time for the LEDs or maybe even turn them on or off, perhaps even dim them. And you could also set for your local time zone. Now I do like the convenience of having a Wi-Fi enabled clock and for it to set its own time and keep track of it without you having to interfere with it. But I do also like the old school simple nature of having an RTC and it's kind of more in fitting with the uh, old school CMOS logic chip ICs that David had used for the BCD crap clock. But the ability to manage a clock from a web backend is something that very much interests me so I might pursue both. I mean who wouldn't like an internet of things remote managed CMOS driven binary decimal coded LED array clock on their desk. I know I would. So that's my plan. I've no idea if it'll work but I'm going to find out. I'm going to push myself to do this project so it expands on the skills that I've got. Everything from improving my coding for the microcontroller, learning more in Eagle so I can produce a PCB, send it off to manufacturer from the likes of JLC PCB or PCB Way, and even might even look into Tindy. See how easy it is to set up a store and perhaps sell them as a kit along with David's original BCD crack clock. So if that is something that interests you, head over to my channel from the links in the description below and hit that subscribe button and then click on the little bell to get notified of any new videos for this project that I will upload and any other videos that I might get around to uploading. So that's all from me. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Cheers guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>I'm currently on holiday in Japan, but I've got another video for you. This one is by Stephen Ludgate. He's sort of remixing my uh, binary... <laughs> what the devil is it called? Binary coded decimal. BCD crap clock. Yeah.